What's up, YouTube? Today, I wanted to make a video on what I use the most and what, when something breaks, depending on the application, what I grab and put on this cart to go fix it. Well, today I'm working on this K621D loader. The accumulator, the hose running to the accumulator. Let me drag the light, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. This hose right here was leaking down there at the bottom of the accumulator. And the accumulator is what gives you like, you know, it's like a brake booster kind of deal and helps with your pilot controls and your steering. But uh, there's a 90 degree fitting down there that has kind of like a jam net style hydraulic fitting on it. And it was loose and the o-ring was trash so I had to take the whole accumulator off because it was just a lot easier. And I put it in the vise and put a new ring on it and tightened the jam nut on it and yep, now it's fixed. So, but anyway, let's say, yeah, hydraulics. Okay, come in here. First thing I always grab, I don't care what it is, this goes on my cart. Period. It's the most used thing, it's the most thing, most used tool I have. And it's, if, if you don't have a, a 761, you need to get it. Uh, yeah, hydraulics. I will grab my PWZ three. I just got done cleaning it. That's why it looks clean. I clean everything with starting fluid on my tools. Um, I don't use brake cleaner because it's too too harsh on it, especially like anything that's got a rubber. It just it eats away at it. That's just their brake cleaner is just nasty. But. Uh, I'll grab PWZ3. They actually make a four now. It's even bigger. I think it's like that long. About as long as this whole thing. I think it's like 20, 20 something. You know, just to I'm curious how long the three is now. It's 21. I think the other one's like 26, maybe. Yeah. It's about as, it's about as long as the part here. Grab that. I will grab my Flint Grab Plus 12 inch crescent. That's the biggest one they make. Unfortunately, I wish they made some 18s. I wish they would make an 18, because an 18 is probably my go to for some of this stuff. When I put in a vice, I'll use an 18. And then, of course, I got a 24 over here. But, uh, on the, a lot, man, it seems like every time I got a hydraulic line bad on this thing, or even on the trucks, you can't get those giant crescent wrenches in there. And this actually is, yeah, go-to for hydraulics. Second go-to is the Cobras. And I know these are only the 12s, but, I mean, you can put a massive hydraulic fitting in there. Usually I'm only up about right here on these big hydraulic fittings. But this will get in a lot tighter spots than this will, too. And it's shorter, so, because, you know, like these hydraulic lines right here. I could barely get on this fitting right there with these hydraulic lines in the way. So I kind of got it broke loose a little bit with the PWZ, and then I use this to finish it off. It's just a lot easier. And of course, this won't fit on those big ones, but it's great for the little ones. And little hydraulic fittings, the zeros. I got those just the other day. Probably haven't even used them yet, but I'm going to. But, uh, yeah, those are basically my hydraulic stuff. And then brackets, of course, are... Go to the 761, and most used sockets are going to be mid-links. I love mid-link sockets. They're the bomb. Still got a little bit of clearance for uh, studs, like, you know, like a horse, like this. Can you see it? Right? Yeah, right there. There's a stud on there, you know. Mid-links still get on it. Or a shallow wooden, and it's still you know, lower clearance, so you don't, you're not, your tool's not sticking out as far as you would with a deep socket. But, uh, yeah, love mid-links. Anyway, that's hydraulic stuff. Now, when I go, let's say I got a, you know, working on a motor. Let's put these back up. I kind of want to do more reorganizing with this stuff. I'm messing my seven and a quarters. There they are. Oh, and a pick. I was cleaning those. 
faces, those inside of those, that accumulator was nasty. Nasty, nasty. Mm. I need to rework it. I'm about to throw my pig in here. Okay. Now I gotta work on my motor. Obviously, that didn't come out of the door because that stays in it all day. Um, I usually don't even grab that unless I'm doing dash stuff or. Yeah, I kind of just wish I hadn't bought the quarter inch one. But I wish I would have bought the hex driver. It is same body as the 761. It is a 761, except it has a hex on the end of it. So I still got all the torque of the 3 8 one, but you can put your, like your little hex driver adapters. At least I had those up there from when I didn't have any snap on stuff, and I was using my M12. Which this thing really is pretty good for its size, but compared to the 761, no contest. I mean, when it has more power than the 18 volt 38s, I mean, I'm saying something. And I'm a big Milwaukee fan, obviously, because I got my new half inch mid torque, which is the bomb. Have you seen my other videos? It took uh, lug nuts off the 18 wheeler that are torqued more than 450 to 500 because I put them on one, one inch impact and I don't really endure. Little, they're probably a little over torqued. They're around six six fifty so I was shocked when it but it does say it'll take off six hundred so I mean it did it um that's in there I will usually grab I will usually put my swivels both sets in here kabam and bam because most of the time I will be using these and depending on what I'm working on, I usually grab my 8 and 10 for sure on these. Because a lot of band clamps and everything are going to be an 8. A lot of the bolts on, especially the Cummins structure, 10s, almost, I mean, everything runs it uses a 10 hardly, almost all the time. A 12. Wait a minute, that's not the 12. This is the 12. 12. A lot of stuff's 12 too. Now you get into the bigger stuff, you got your 15 and your 14, 13. Mm. But <clears throat> mainly I just grab the 8 and the 10. Sometimes I'll throw the 12 in there. And I usually grab the 10 and the 12. And I most and I'll usually grab a deep 11 for V-band clamps. And then I'll grab uh, the half and the 9 over here just in case there's some brackets that are more on the truck side because it seems like our trucks the body stuff is standard but your motor stuff's metric so so why you gotta have both and then i will usually grab just grab this whole set, metric set a quarter and stick it on yeah sometimes i grab both and i'll grab my quarter roto best ratchet there is all around best quarter inch ratchet for sure I don't even think I, I've only used this just a couple times to try it out. I mean, it's a great ratchet, but, I mean, how can you beat, how do you, how do you beat a Roto, especially, I mean, you just don't beat Rotos. And, of course, I'll grab my 3 8 because if there's something I cannot get off, I can't get to with my, that, I'll just use that. And then I'll have my, I just use, I just use black, I just use chrome, uh, impact sockets when it comes to 3 8 because, I don't even have any 3.8 snap on I me. Mean, I got a, every gear wrench one, but I really don't see a need in buying 3.8 chromes right now because I don't use them. I wouldn't use them. My, I mean, your impacts are going to get do the same job, plus you can do put them on the impact. Cause they're not as pretty, but I mean, shit. I love the way a snap on impact socket looks. The way they, instead of profiling it from, like, I mean, Matco, come on. Why would you do it in the middle? Why would you just do it at the top or at the bottom? And the bottom is the only way to go because it gives you more clearance the whole way. It doesn't flare up until it gets down to the, where the drive is. That's the way it should be. Like, some, I have some half-inch Sonic sockets in there. When they go down to... Like, what? See, now Matco did do it on the half inch, sorta. 
but like the Sonics ones are opposite. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't cone, they don't taper down until they get to the top. Why would you do that? Yeah, it might give you a little more strength, but I don't, yeah. You're losing, clean, you're losing tolerance. But, uh, and that is basically what I grab for motor, motor work. Like I said, I'll grab those sockets and I usually throw them in a magnetic tray. But, uh, and I'll usually grab this wobble extension from my 3 8 because when you add a mid length to that, you're getting about half of what these are. So I usually grab that because there's some spots that's too long. And of course, I need some sort of an extension, so I'll just throw this one in here and wobbles extension. So it's great. And I usually don't ever use these unless I just need one. I don't ever break this these out unless I absolutely need it. But uh, yeah, sometimes I'll throw a quarter inch extension, this quarter inch extension in there. But most of the time, if I'm breaking out the quarter inch, I don't need an extension on our applications on our trucks because most of our trucks are pretty open. But uh, and if I get to a situation where I need a wrench. I'm usually coming up here. Even though these are gear wrench, they are my go-to wrenches. And if you don't have these, you need to get them because it, you, it will change your life, I promise. And if you don't buy anything but like Snap-on and stuff, I mean, Snap-on just come out with the their high performance with a ratchet in but it's not flex they don't have a flex head yet and trust me you'll want the flex head i wish these were locking flex head quite honestly i wish they were just like the easy red ratchet i wish the locking mechanism was right here slim doesn't get in the way i like this style easy red makes a good product i really i'm impressed with this ratchet actually it's really slim, getting some tight spots, and of course it's a bit ratchet. But uh, I always keep it a bit just in case. But yeah, I mean, I just find myself if if this if this is too long, then yeah, I'll go to my snap-ons, like these style ratchet wrenches, which I love these style ratchet wrenches. They are just the best ratcheting mechanism I've ever seen, and they're you can take you can rebuild them. Like the ratchets, but, and of course they're flank grab plus. And then of course you got these wrenches if you absolutely need them. But most of the time, I will grab my 120 XPs. Zero offsets, and these are spline drive, whereas um, snap-ons are not. Now Matco makes these. They don't make them. I don't. I don't believe they actually make them. I haven't. Seen, I'm. I'm very disappointed in Matco. If you ever, well, I probably ran it on some of my videos. But uh, see, they're all their new style wrenches are spline drive as well. Take a look at this wrench. You see something wrong with it? Hmm, most of you would figure it out. There's no USA stamp on it. And I don't care what the driver says. They're not made in USA. If it, if somebody makes something in USA. They're going to put it on it because people care about that. Oh, what? What's that say right there? Yeah, USA, period. If it was made in Germany, it'd be, it'd be have German on it. If it was made somewhere in Europe where they do make quality tools, it would say it on it. But it don't. That means because it's made in Taiwan. Just like these, not precision torques. I do. I love the precision torque wrenches. They're, they're, they feel great. They have a wide I beam style. They just feel awesome in your hand. <clears throat> and they're—I mean—they're not quite as—they're not as long as the snap-ons. Sometimes you don't need the long extra. And that's why I do keep these in here. But, uh, but yeah, they don't—they don't say USA on them anywhere because they're made in Taiwan. And these ratchet wrenches, I like these because 
they're smaller and I've lost my 9 16 that's the first time I've lost a tool in a long time no USA my Mac driver tries to tell me oh they're bringing all the precision torque stuff over here great I'll believe it when I see it but these now they come of course they come out with the locking flex head with the button on the side just like the freaking easy rib that I like but they're freaking and they want so much money for their precision torques even though they're not made in USA it's ridiculous I won't buy them I did well yeah I did buy this expansion set that goes up to the rest of them are in my box but it goes up to 32 I believe on the truck it was like 200 bucks yeah I know I shouldn't have bought them whatever and I did buy the metric versions of those ratchets just because I don't know you see, but they're short for what they are, and they can get in some tighter spots. They're almost like a stubby. They're like a, I call them, a, they're like a short, like snap-on short length, which is very handy. I'm going to end up buying the snap-on. I think they call them midget wrenches. Either midget, because they're, I mean, they have stubbies, but I think those are called midget. See? Oh, here, prime example of Matco's disappointment. Matco's old style with no teeth and normal 12 point. What does that say right there? Oh yeah, USA. Yeah, because the Matco's cheaping out nowadays and they're making shit overseas. Like, come on, you don't think we'd notice? Of course, there's a snap on the metric ones. I'm getting a rant here. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Go to wrench. And I keep, that's why I keep them up there. They look nice and of course, these are the metrics, uh, 10 to 19, doesn't skip size. But, uh, and these are, what, quarter? And, and this set even has 11.30 seconds. I mean, really? Most sets don't have 11.30 seconds. Of course, they're dusty. So you can see the ones I use the most, 5, 8, 9, 16, and half. I hardly ever use a 7.16. Well, I mean, I do, but I haven't used it in a while. Metrics, uh, yeah. If I can get an impact on it, I'm going to get an impact on it. It just that simple makes it that much easier but uh, yeah that is what I do when I'm working on a motor now let's these back up oh, shit, I'm just gonna throw this stuff in here for now sort of Second. Now we're going to move on to if I'm going to work on. Notice I didn't take that out, obviously. <laughs> Never comes out of my cart, like I said, during the day. Um, I have to find a better spot to put those, but it works for now. But now, when I'm working, when I go to do drive chain parts, drive lines, Obviously, if I can add a drive line, I'm gonna grab this socket. It's a Sun X, which I, I don't I I like Sun X products. It's a great overseas product. Probably the best overseas product in the business when it comes to impact sockets. Chrome's gear wrench hands down. Um, but yeah, impact socket, Sun X, great starter sockets. I have I still have the metric half inch. All, it goes, went from 10 to 36. I think it skipped one size. I believe it was the 30, 31. I believe it was the 31 or 32. I think it's 31. But anyway, I paid like 110 bucks for the whole set on Amazon. I mean, you can't beat that. But yep, that's my drive on go-to drive on socket. This one, eh, junk. I don't know why. Well, I don't know what I was thinking by buying a 3H drive drive on socket because <laughs> as much as I like that it don't break off drive on bolts and neither did my 18 volt so that's basically tr trash that with this mid torque booyah <laughs> excuse me anyway I'm working on drive I'm from Mark, yeah, drive line that axle 15 sixteenths, three eighths. That gun will break loose axle, axle nuts. 
every time I haven't broke haven't I haven't had one that not that did not break loose it's very impressive that's why I bought to this set that this the 15 see that set stopped at 7 8 so I ordered the mid-length 15 16 for those perfect size because there is a little stud on them you don't need the deep I grabbed that boom um, of course your uh, there it is up there for your axle nuts that's that's more the the hub nuts hub bolt whatever you want to call them there's more like studs in there but uh, and then yeah that's basically all that brakes brakes I usually grab this and my 7 16 stubby right here because the stubby works great on those s cans and of course I also grab unfortunately I don't have a ratcheting 15 16 yet I still need to get one for the two bolt two studs that come out of the pod like right there, those two stud, they're 15 16 nuts. So I still have to use a regular box in wrench, kind of sucks, but sometimes on the bottom one, you can put your half inch gun on it and uh, get you just still in the tolerance to get them out. But uh, yeah, see that. Well, I'm just kind of going around anyway. I'm gonna wrap it up. That's basically what I use the most you know electrical go-to these are the best in the business crimpers for how small they are great I still use these strippers because they haven't brought me my green snap-on strippers yet the strip where the strippers on the outside they look great I've played with them they had them on the truck had them in orange and red but they still haven't got my green ones yet unfortunately these picks they use them the for, they're great for cleaning stuff out you don't want to scrape up or under like 16 bucks, you, you, should, you need to get them. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Nah, nothing really. Electrical power probes. This thing is awesome. I highly recommend. I know it's expensive. It's 80 bucks, but uh, it's great. It lights up red for positive, green for when you reverse polarity. Um, it's just awesome. I mean, I got that and I was like, oh yeah, then I just want to test something real quick. And I'm like, I got to freaking hook it up to a battery and then pull it out, turn it, you know, get to the start setting. It's just, if you're just doing quick testing, this is the way to go. It's awesome. Highly recommend this. And I'm slowly probably going to convert. I haven't decided yet. I really like the Mac screwdrivers. If you haven't seen the new style Mac screwdrivers, I have them in this color now too. Which I love that color. Um, I like the high vis color, but they didn't have the high vis and the mini torx. Probably gonna get the mini screwdrivers. I like this. I like the look snap on small handles. Um, I haven't. I to be honest. I don't like the new style handle on the Mac because I should have kept my old ones like this style. Much more comfortable, grippy. Um, probably going to end up buying either Macs or snap ones for the box. I'm going to take the Mac ones home, including these and the picks. I'm going to need to get the snap on picks with that style handle for minis and I'm probably going to get the big snap on picks because they have more better sets of picks than Mac I mean Mac has those. Probably gonna take all these home. Um, this snap on probably has some, snap on I know snap on has a pick like this but this is still my go to pick because I don't have one this style.